Oh, <laughs> in the bright moonlight, <laughs> you are my son. Uh, Lady Noir July, Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction. Day 15, Forbidden. <laughs> this feels like getting ready for a date. Ladybug knows this, even though she's never even been on a real date, <laughs> and yet she's still going without a second thought. God, she's hopeless. Ladybug, Shot Noir calls. Ladybug can't help the dumb smile from appearing on her face. She greets him with equal vim. He smiles at her and puts out his hand. Are you ready for another night of patrol? Shot asks. She nods but starts walking, once again ignoring his outstretched hand. He doesn't get annoyed by it or react. No, he just withdraws it and smiles, walking alongside her. Shot knows her well, and he knows that she means no harm. He also knows that one of these days she will just finally break and actually take his hand. The stars are the only things out tonight. No moonlight means no illuminating glow. Honestly, she misses it. Right now, only street lamps light up the pavement before them, but it's not very bright. More than once she trips on a ledge, and twice he actually does. But then again, he's slightly dancing around in circles, and she's just walking, like a normal person does. Still, it makes her laugh, and she has to keep from biting her tongue from telling him that it's really adorable. They stumble around the areas between the street lights. God, I can't see. Shot complains. He dramatically slams his forehead into his hands, Ladybug sighs but nods, indulging his little antics. This is what death looks like. Now that gets her to laugh. I... what? Even? I... no, that is not right. At all. Uh, no. <laughs> she laughs. Shot looks at her scandalized. This is the end he says, looking totally serious and totally joking at the same time. Th th no, this is not the end, Ladybug says firmly. Shot stares at her blankly. She stares back, trying her hardest not to laugh. Eventually, she gives up, giggles, and sighs. Why are you so dramatic, she asks. Shot Noir scoffs and leaves up, striking a pose right there in the spotlight of the lamp's light. Why do you say that like it's a bad thing? He shoots back at her, giving her a nod as if it's a wise thing to say. I make your life fun. He changes poses. I make your life interesting. Poses again. I make you smile at 12 a.m. because my dramatics are totally needed and totally amazing. Shot winks at her and bows as if he just finished a performance for thousands of people. Ladybug huffs and turns, walking down the street and ignoring the blush on her face that has appeared. It's not like his wings have ever previously affected her, but uh, it does now. Screw him and his cuteness. See? There's an inconceivable amount of glee in his voice. You can't even deny it. And no. She she really can't, and she doesn't really want to admit that either. And they keep walking, occasionally bumping shoulders and making each other laugh. Again, Ladybug can't help but feel like this is a date. The fun, the laughing, the little smiles, and the warm, fuzzy feeling inside her that is so unlike any other romantic feeling she's had before. Previously, it's all nerves and panic and worry about how she'll be liked and perceived. It's been like that all her life, Adrian, had not been an exception. Turns out the odd one out is Shot Noir. He feels like comfortable floating. He feels like grabbing someone by the hand with a tiny smile and jumping into a pool of one of those sponge block things that you can find in the city's gymnastics place. He feels easy and in the best way. Shot's little jokes are dumb, but it's so him, she can't help but laugh. He's seen her at her worst. He's already held her as she's crying underwater like a fool, all while the entire world is falling apart around them. Shot Noir has only 
has seen her during the hardest fights of her life and smiles at her like she's only done the best. It's such a wonderful and foreign feeling. Let's not do that, Ladybug says. She's being genuine. It would be a pretty bad idea, but Chant Noir seems to totally ignore that. Let's, he begs her. The puppy dog eyes. Uh, wrong animal? The kitten doe eyes are of no use right now. There's no way she's going to spring around on a wet cement block just to leave her print. There is a literal statue of her made from stone. This is the definition of unnecessary. You gotta leave our mark, Shot continues. Ladybug barks a laugh. Her mark? I say, I dare say we've already done that. Save the city on multiple occasions. <laughs> Festivals are dedicated to us and we have a statue in an entire day. She laughs, reaching up to pat his cheek gently. He leans into her touch like a real cat. It makes her feel like she can't pull it back, so she doesn't and just leaves her hand resting on his face. I dare say that's the biggest mark we could leave. Shot continues to whine, but those were for the heroes of Paris. They are the heroes of Paris, she points out. Yeah, but it's for that part of the job, the part of our job where we fight Akumas and smile and wave and stuff. I don't want that to be the only thing left here when we're gone. I, I want to make a mark for us and us partners. We're more than just two teenagers fighting crime. We're a real duo, the cat and bug team that always prevails. He speaks in such a soft tone and in a way that's gentle. Ladybug isn't quite sure if he's talking about them being more than crime fighting fighters is a reference to them being more than a defense team or them really meaning more to each other. Honestly, she doesn't want to ask. She doesn't want to start to even try to figure out what they are, what they could be just to have to shut it down. Admittedly, her logic is flawed, but it's, it's comforting to know. It's comforting enough. If they are never something real, then no one can tell us. If we are never something real, then no one can tell us to stop being something. Ladybug smiles softly. I get that, she says. But let's find a way to do it in something other than drying cement. It's gross, and I have no idea if it'll come off on either of our suits. She laughs. Shot looks over to the block with a faraway look on his face. Ah, uh, yes, wet cement. The first forbidden pudding, he mutters. Ladybug blinks once, and then twice, and then a third time. What on earth did Shot Noir just say? Are you insane? She says in the kindest way possible. He makes a non committable noise. It's not boding well for comfort. Please do not eat the cement. Ever? It, it's more than forbidden. It will literally be death. That's what they said about arsenic. That that will also kill you. He's lost his mind. It's comfort now. 